Saving Private Ryan actor Tom Sizemore's family no hope as daughters recommend end of life decision. Medics caring for Tom Sizemore have said there is no further hope for his recovery after the Saving Private Ryan actor suffered a brain aneurysm. The 61-year-old has been in a coma since the 18th of February after he fell unconscious at his LA home around 2 a.m. that Saturday. Since then, the screen star has been cared for in the intensive care unit of Providence St. Joseph Medical Center in Los Angeles. Now, Sizemore's representative, Charles Lago, issued a statement on Monday explaining that his family have been urged by doctors to make end-of-life decisions. Lago shared, Today doctors informed his family that there is no further hope and have recommended end-of-life decision. The family is now deciding end-of-life matters and a further statement will be issued on Wednesday. We are asking for privacy for his family during this difficult time, and they wish to thank everyone for the hundreds of messages of support and prayers that have been received. This has been a difficult time for them. Sizemore is best known for his portrayal of Sergeant Mike Horvath in the Oscar-winning World War II film directed by Steven Spielberg. He delivers the film's famous line, Someday we might look back on this and decide that saving Private Ryan was the one decent thing we were able to pull out of this god-awful s time mess. Sizemore has also starred in Black Hawk Down, born on the 4th of July and Natural Born Killers. Recently, he appeared in episodes of the TV series Twin Peaks and Cobra Kai. The actor also had a history of drug abuse and run-ins with law enforcement. He was convicted of domestic violence in 2003 against his girlfriend, Heidi Fleiss. In 2006, he pleaded no contest to using methamphetamine outside a motel. Sizemore was arrested in Los Angeles in 2009 for suspected battery of a former spouse, and again in 2011 for the same offense. In 2018, a then 26-year-old actor filed a lawsuit against Sizemore, claiming he abused her as an 11-year-old during production on the film Born Killers. Sizemore denied it, and the suit was later dismissed.